Okay, so in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to make an origami crane. So you're gonna need one piece of paper for this. And we're gonna start with that piece of paper, white side up. And we're just gonna fold it into quarters. So we're gonna take it over like this and line up those edges so you've got a rectangle and you'll notice when I'm folding I tend to start in the middle and then push outwards and then you get a nice crisp line which is really important. So now we're going to unfold this, there's going to be a lot of folding and unfolding at the start and we're going to rotate it so that line is now pointing upwards away from us. And we're gonna take this bottom edge and do the same thing again. So fold it over so that all the edges meet up, start in the middle and then press outwards to get our nice crisp fold. So opening that up again, you're going to rotate it <laughs> so that you've got one of the points is facing towards you. And you're going to lift up that point and do the same thing again. So fold it over so that all the edges line up, fold it in half, start in the middle, bring that line out and then do the same the other way. Okay, so unfold that and then for this final fold we are going to turn it round again and flip it over. So you'll see that you've got this line which is connecting those points and now we want a line, a fold that is connecting these points. So we're going to lift the bottom point up, bottom corner up, fold it over and do exactly the same thing again. And then you can unfold it put it white side up. So, when you have a look at my piece of paper, you'll notice that the last fold we made is kind of bringing those points inwards. If you let it sit on the table, they should kind of pop up. So you're gonna take those corners that are lifting up and you're gonna bring them to the top so they meet in the middle. And then you're gonna bring them down towards you, like so, and then you've got this funny <laughs> nose sticking out and we're going to just push that down, like that, okay, so now you should have this little square and what you'll notice is that one end is kind of closed and comes to a point where all these sides meet and then the other end is all open and you can see the white paper so we want that white end that's that end that's open where you can see the white paper we want that facing towards us and that closed point facing upwards away from us and we're going to take one of these sides and fold it over and bring it into the middle and push it down. Again, I'm doing the same fold technique where you start in the middle, you push up and then you push down. And we're doing the same with the other side as well. And you wanna leave one of the layers behind on the table. So you're just lifting up the top layer. And you should now have a kind of kite shape. So I'm gonna take that kite shape and flip it over. So again, you want the point that is closed, the end that is all closed, facing away from you, and the end that is open, so you can lift up and see the white paper facing towards you. And do exactly the same. So bring in one side, fold up, fold down, and do the same on the other side. I'm gonna take this triangle at the top and fold it back over towards us and unfold. Now, this bit's where it gets fun. 
So we're going to open up these sides and lift this top section. So you've got a white diamond. And we're going to unfold all the way and you'll see as I'm unfolding, these edges are curling inwards. Usually in origami when the paper is telling you to do something, or when it's wanting to go a certain direction, that means you've done something right. So the paper is wanting to come in and we're just going to fold that down. Now sometimes it helps to kind of get your nail in and straighten it out like that. And do the same on the other side. So now we have this big long diamond shape. And we're going to flip it and do exactly the same thing. So we're going to fold this top towards us like before, unfold, unfold these edges so we have a big square, lift this bottom and fold it down along that line we've created. And we're really just following the folds we've already made and bringing those edges inwards. So sometimes it helps, as I said, to get a nail in there and just remind the folds what they're doing. And press that down. So, we're starting to get there. We're kind of going to repeat the same thing. So, making sure that you've got, again, this closed end, just checking inside this closed end is still at the top. And you've got these bits, which are a bit like legs, <laughs> sticking towards you. We're going to lift one side, fold it over and bring it into the middle. Like so. And do the same thing with the other side. So you have that shape. And then flip it over. and do the same thing again. So you're folding these sides into the middle so the edge is a central line and straightening towards the bottom. So now we've got this far, we're almost there. So with your thumb and finger you're just going to pinch in the middle where all of those folds meet. And with your other hand, you're going to open up this side here. And usually what I do is put one finger in to open it up and put the thumb on the inside and then pull upwards and kind of flip the fold inside out. And then squeeze it at the bottom and then tuck all of this in like so, so it looks neat. See if you're really good at origami, this this is not very good. <laughs> this wouldn't be that. So now we're going to do the same on the other side, so maybe it helps to flip it over. So you're going to pinch with your thumb and your finger just there. And then with the other hand, you're gonna wiggle in between these two bits of paper here. And you're kind of pushing upwards, and as you push upwards, you're folding it back on itself. And then creating this nice fold along here, so kind of pinching. So that you have that. Now you need to decide which is going to be the head and which is going to be the tail. So usually what I do is this side's messier, so I'm going to leave that as the tail. And the sides that's neatest, I'm going to make the head. So to make the head, you kind of do the same thing you just did. So you're going to pinch halfway along this and then push that top bit down. So as you push it down, it will kind of go inwards like that and then you pinch that V closed to make the head. So that's the head of your crane. And to finish it off, 
you take the wings and you pull them apart. And as you pull them apart, just give a little wriggle and the body will open up. And there you have your crane.